tasty treats for me to eat. minute since I vlogged. Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back. I don't know what to do. We got new spoons. We got new spoons. <laughs> Bougie. It is a Tuesday today and it is date night. So we're going to be making some tackles because it's Tuesday. And what Tuesday. else are we going to make? Babies. No. <laughs> Margaritas. <laughs> Um, but first, first before we Wait, make tacos well. and margaritas, we're going to be giving you the highly anticipated flat transformation reveal. It's impressive you get your knees in that one. <laughs> your knees in this one. I've lost track of what I've filmed and what I've not filmed, so... Did um, you see her flat looking like a f***ing shrat hole? For God's sake, Harry, what is with this language? You saw what it looked like when we moved in. And now you can see it, the transformation. So we're starting, we're in the kitchen. Can't tell. Still got the Beano wall. Still paper. got the Beano wall because we're Cable in Beano town. It. It's cool. Beans. Um. Dundee baby. Did you know that the Beano was invented by DC Thompsons in Dundee? Dundee back number one. So okay. this is the kitchen. We didn't really change much in here. We changed the red roof, if if you all remember, and we got a new washing machine. Watch this. Watch this. Twenty first century technology has gone too far, right? So, let me role play for a second here. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna put my washing in, chuck my washing in, turn it up. First of all, look at this, by the way. Bing. So, you, so you turn your washing on, right, and then you're like, you're wandering through the house, right? And then so you walk, you walk through, and you're like, oh my god, no, I forgot a sock. So the washing's on, right? What you can do is mid wash. Yeet. How insane is that? Wow. Here's our fridge. It's got a little water dispenser here. The, the, Oh, and there's flooring, but you'll see that better once we show you around the flat. So, wait, this is a very bad transformation. Hold on. So you come from the kitchen and you go into the living room. The sun is setting, so it's kind of dark in here, but hopefully you can get the drift. Let there be light. This is the room that took the longest to do. We got rid of like the wallpaper. The wallpaper took 10 million years. We painted the skirtings black. We painted that ugly thing. This is our bar area. I had to do proper DIY to remove. Cut back to the ugly, ugly phone here. And I removed it because it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. This is our little setup for beverages. making beverages. Here's the lovely, the lovely new laminate. <laughs> Look at our lovely new roof. I painted the roof. <laughs> and that's why we're never trusting Mark to paint. I'm not allowed to paint again. ever again. That's not a shadow, that's just a patch in the roof. Look at the anger in this person's face. That's what happens when you leave a boy to do a bad job. So yes, yeah, so this is our living room. Wow. Yeah, these are our oh, the best part. Throwback to Florida. These are hand delivered from the United States of America, Orlando. Then you go through to, from the living room, to the, to, croc, the croc room. To the hallway where there is my Crocs because you know what I say in life, you should never be too far away from a pair of Crocs. That's my first ever giblet. Thank you to my Attacking friend. Giblet. Wow, great. Anyway, Crocs, more lovely laminate flooring. I don't know if you remember, but this was covered in really ugly orange wallpaper. It was the annoying orange wallpaper, not. And who got rid of all three layers of wallpaper? Me. You are a liar, Astrid. Um, I did this whole hallway myself, actually. Apart from the filling, you can get the, the credit for that, but... Look how smooth these walls are. Just don't, don't zoom in more. too close, because you'll see the cracks, but just <laughs> real smooth. Cha cha, real smooth! I bought a shoe rack. So then you go from the hallway through to the spare room. <laughs> Hello, this is the spare room. There's my desk. A keyboard that Mark keeps telling me to get rid of. That's going in the bed and that's going in the bed. This is Katie's stress sausage. We've put up some home decor. This is a sofa bed, so it goes out into a, bed. a double bed, which has been trialed and tested by my good friend Melissa, who said um, that it was very comfortable, so. It sounds like she's had sex in the bed, is what that sounds like. 
Well, you don't know what we got up to. Here's the least exciting room. So we haven't done the walls in the bedroom yet. Uh, they're still grey, but we kind of rearranged, so now it feels like a completely like different room, and I really. I fucked up the wall here big time. Basically, do not allow me to take TV mounts off the wall. Unless you want giant holes in your wall, and then get me to do it. There's our bed. There's a massive wardrobe. The wardrobe was there, and the bed used to be there. But then after we got the flooring in, we were like, hey, it actually... It's better this way. Oh my god, this is our... This is our new flat. Do you like it? What's your favorite room? Comment below. Now we're gonna make tacos. We have tiny little wraps for our tiny little tacos. Mark's having steak, which you don't want to see. Cause that's triggering. These are actually for our margaritas, cause we're gonna attempt to make some. I am not putting that in my margaritas. Spicy margaritas. Tell you that for free. And then I've got, for my tacos, I've got M&S, M&S no chicken pieces, and some guacamole, because I went to Oaxaca last week in Edinburgh. Which is like a Mexican tapas. Mexican tapas. <laughs> Which is like a Mexican tapas place, and their tacos, bellissimo. Gourmet. Very nice, and uh, they had like a meatless farm chicken and avocado one, which I'm trying to recreate. In preparation for our margarita making, we have bought three. Well, we bought a lemonade because there was only two limeades left, but got that. And we also got we got Cointreau. It was on club card offer. Wow, we love a club card offer. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I actually don't really need to do that much. I just need to heat up my chicken. And then we have an array of hot sauces, of course. We have this babas sauce. I don't know if that'll work, but apparently that's a big hit here in Dundee. We have Frank's. This is Mark's favorite sauce, which is quite sad because they don't sell it anymore. It's a scotch, scotch bonnet sauce. Also on our tacos, we're going to be putting some crispy onions. Maybe some of this? Scotch bottom hot sauce on that one and some Franks on that one. Yum. Tomatillo salsa, black mole, sirloin steak, shallots, and a four blanches. Hello, we have eaten our tacos, which were simply delightful. Now we're gonna make margaritas. First, I'm gonna pour some sugar into this. We have some margarita glasses. Wow. What? Low cocktail maker. <gasps> I am the barman. First thing you're gonna want to do is get your sugar or salt if you're hardcore. Get your glass wet. Put a nice little rim on your glass. If you like putting salt, rock salt on the rim, which is technically correct, you're an absolute madman. I get no respect from me because salt is disgusting. Gourmet. We have to stop for a drink because this is just a bit of a what you're going to need for a classic margarita is Quantra, lemon juice, and a tequila of your choice. We are going with Don Julio Anejo, which is absolute ball and stuff. Put your ice in here. How much ice? Now what we're going to need... Listen to this, by the way. Yes, I'm on. We're going to need a single a Quantrao. Quantrao is a orange flavored triple sec liqueur. We need enough for two people. So actually, so we need to put two in here. Now, there's some bougie ass tequila. It's a double, so we need to put two doubles in. To make two drinks. Because I'm a proper barman, I will take the towel off. And <laughs> right, now it says one shot of lime juice per drink, but that is rubbish when I'm doing that. We'll do two doubles per <laughs> yeah. drink. You know, we actually do three. Yo. Next thing you do is clean up again. You put your towel back on your shoulder. <laughs> you get your little lid. Make sure your lid's on your tequila thing. Oh. You go. Start together. There you go. <laughs> if you're really bougie, you go like this. Woo. Oh my god, god. Excuse me. I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> 
The audience members feel how cool it is. Nice and cool. Wow. Then you just pour your standard measure. You take your bit off, which you can't do because you're not strong. <laughs> and you don't get the drink because you get the drink. <laughs> oh my god. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Please edit this out. I can't edit that red out. Could you give me a wrench? One, two. Don't spill it. Cheers. Cheers to Taco Tuesdays. Kind of tastes like a margarita. Done.